Oh, Simon! Simon, where did you put the mustard? Hmm? Sweetheart, didn't you hear me? If that was you singing, yes, otherwise, no. Uh, uh, Morty, Morty, please. Sorry. The mustard. It's there. Will you find it? All right, so it's not there. What's the big deal? Well, I, I want to fix everything before he comes. Oh, what is he, a guest? It's only Abe for crying out loud. Yes, I know, but I just don't want to run around after we start playing. And Paula takes her bitch by the neck. With her, it's a deadly serious affair. Morty, would you turn that thing off, please? It's giving me a headache. Take that, Christian Dorp. You should ever... You should ever pick up a book. I'd call your mother. She should get a doctor. Listen to this. There's a revolution in the streets, and he's talking to me about reading. Oh, pardon me. I didn't realize that garbage you're watching is a contribution to a new social order. Now, will you stop it, you two, please? He'll be here any minute, and coffee isn't even started. Well, he's late. All right. A man can be late, especially if he works as hard as Abe. Not Abe. He's never late, not for bridge. Every Thursday night, 8 o'clock shop, ding dong, the doorbell. Sorry, sweetheart. Told you. Put it back. You wouldn't like it now. Hmm. What? Too much fat? No, uh, 20 to 9. Oh, Abe's late. Yeah, we were discussing it. My nephew, the pothead. The only thing that saves him, he's a hell of a bridge player. Gutsy like his old man. May he rest in peace. Why do you keep doing that? It's like you're always looking over your shoulder, and if nobody says anything, death won't notice you're alive. 48 years old, you still believe in ghosts? Well, to me, there are still lots of things in this world I haven't heard an explanation for. Too many things, Simon, to look him in the face and laugh. He's here. Funny, never heard it so loud. You and your medieval superstitions. Hey, hey, what are you waiting for? An invitation? It ain't eight. What? Hello. What can I do for you? Well, Mr. Grav, I know it's... Where'd you hear that name? Oh, of course. It's Graveson now. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Who are you, please? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm your fourth. You see, Abe can't make it tonight. Why not? And rather than spoil your bridge evening, he thought you wouldn't mind if I played in his place. Oh. Where is he? Is he sick? May I come in? Uncle Simon. Oh, yeah, why, well, sure. Uh, uh, come in, please. Thank you very much. Insight, stories of spiritual conflict in the 20th century. All of us are tempted to race with the clock, to rush from the past to the future without any thought of the present. This is a mistake, for all we have is the present moment. We can live fully only by taking possession of that moment. In it, we can go deep into ourselves. We can root our lives in the ground of all being. We can open ourselves for an influx of life from that ground. That life has no past. It has no future. It's beyond both. It's eternal life, pure now. In the present, we can make those decisions which will shape our future, but not completely. The future is shrouded in mystery. Some of it we can control, and some of it we can't. What do we do about those aspects of the future which we cannot control, which threaten our security and make us afraid? Do we close them out, or do we learn to live with them? My, what a comfortable apartment. Thank you. Oh, Mrs. Graveson, I was just telling your husband what a lovely apartment you have. Oh, uh, Abe couldn't make it. This is Mr. Uh, uh, I didn't catch the name. Of course, that's up to you. If my presence here would make you uncomfortable. You play as good as Abe? Well, I confess I'm a little rusty, but I shouldn't have any trouble remembering. Well, for me, a rusty fourth is better than no fourth. Morty. What did you say your name was? 
Why don't you just call me Joe? Okay, Joe. You're a friend of Abe's. That's good enough for us. Make yourself comfortable. Let Paula take his, uh, his things. Okay. Uh, excuse me. You're in some sort of show business? Oh, Abe doesn't know anybody in show business. Well, as a matter of fact, I am. And you're very astute to recognize it. I'm a sort of uh, amateur magician, you might say. Mm. Uh, rabbits and card tricks? All kinds of illusion. I could tell by your getup. I just finished at the Cheshire Club on King Street. Cheshire Club? I don't believe I'm familiar with it. First class dump. Marty. Oh, you're quite right, my young friend. It is a first class dump. You see? But since I do what I do without recompense, I don't have any ego problems. Mm. Well, magic's a hobby. What do you do for a living? I'm in transportation. Really? You know, there's something about you rings a bell. I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe I've seen your act. At Paula, yeah. did, didn't we ever see Joe someplace in a nightclub or something? Oh, Simon, we haven't been in a nightclub since New Year's 1946. <laughs> Complaints. That's funny. You know, I, I can Perhaps swear... Perhaps it'll come back to you as the evening goes on. Yeah. yeah. Well, are we going to play? Time and tide. Death and taxes. That's what they say. Excuse me. Hmm? There's the matter of partners. Oh, you don't have to worry about Morty. Don't let his age fool you. He's good. Oh, I'm sure he is. But I was hoping to play with Simon as my partner. But uh, th this is the way we always play. You're taking Abe's place. Abe's been my partner every Thursday since we started. I know. But actually, he thought it might be more... What? Fair? More interesting if we changed partners, just for tonight. So, so it was Abe's idea? Oh, to be truthful, it was mine. Well, what difference does it make whose idea? As a guest, it might seem I'm being a little rude, but I really would like to play with Simon as my partner. Why? Just from what I know of you. Well, what do you know? We never met before. You weren't so sure a few moments ago. Where is Abe? Busy. Well, that much we know, but uh, how does that answer the question I asked? Why don't you call him? He's not home. Well, his wife must be. She'll be home later. Uh, Simon? Is my request really so shattering? After all, we're not playing for stakes, are we? Why are you so apprehensive? But it's just that we're, we're used to things this way. Ah, oh, come on. We're wasting time over nothing. He's right. You don't mind, do you, Simon? It just seems strange, that's all. Do you, Simon? No, I don't mind. Good. And if you'll sit over here, Mrs. Graveson, we can start. <laughs> Dealer passes. Two spades. You're kidding. Well, partner. Pass? What do you think? I'm an overcall with this jack? Come on, pass. Two spades, pass. Your bid, Joe. Seven spades. Oh, no. Putting us on. Well, uh, Joe, uh, wait a minute. Shouldn't we uh, explore it a little bit? I mean, I, I have to take every trick. Trust me, Simon. Uh, Joe, a, a grand slam. Bridge is a partnership game. You have to trust your partner. Oh, how can I trust you when I don't even know you? You're not sure of that. Well, come on. You must be doing something right. You've been killing us all night. Sure. You're not serious. Why not play the hand? Well, because we'll go down. Because we're vulnerable. Because I have to take uh, 13 tricks. Because we'll go down uh, 500 points. Seven spades. Pass. <sighs> All right. Pass, but don't blame me if we get down. Double. On principle. Redouble. On faith. Pass. Pass. We're dead. Stop saying that. Pass. It's your lead. Make it a good one. Right. 
Queen of Diamonds. Right to the jugular. Don't be afraid, Simon. Then show me the ace. No diamonds. He's void. Well, that's a horse of another color. Uh, <laughs> and I doubled. Now, just a minute. When I was dealing... Come on, come on. Now, listen to me. When I was dealing, a card was exposed in your hand. It was the four of diamonds. So how can you be void? What are you talking about? I saw it. It was a diamond, the four of diamonds. Paula, what are you saying? Wait a minute. A card was exposed. But I, I thought it was a heart. What's the matter with you? It was uh, the six of spades. Uh, what are you doing? What kind of funny business are you doing? He said he was a magician. Maybe card tricks are his bag? Yeah, I suppose he hypnotized us all so we saw different cards. What's with you two? I don't know, Uncle Simon. Maybe we're bored with losing. If we really are losing. Morty. Joe, I apologize for my family. It's quite unnecessary. It's very human for the same event to be seen several different ways by several different people. It was a card, not an event. And I saw what I saw. Paula. Excuse me, I'll uh, bring coffee. Really? Was it necessary? Did it need a scene? Simon, I don't like him. Paula. To get up in the middle of a hand. Uh, there's something not right about him. Something, something like it's, I don't know, missing. Missing? Oh, you're going to think I'm crazy. Paula, what are you talking about? Life. There's no life in him. I told him we'd bring the coffee. You don't notice anything? Paula, for the life of me at this moment, I, I, I can't even tell you how he looks. He, 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 he looks to me like a, a kind of a nondescript type person, that's all, and, and as alive as the next one. You don't notice anything. And even when you do, you don't. Or you won't. If it doesn't suit your fancy, it doesn't exist for you. Well, considering the way you act sometimes, maybe that's not such a bad thing. Oh, let me help you with that. No, thank you. I can manage. I'm fine. Ooh, this corned beef is fantastic. You ought to try some. Thank you. I'm a light eater. Well, whatever you want, help yourself. Me, you don't have to ask twice. <laughs> or even once. Paula, you uh, want me to fix your plate? What's wrong? You look... What's the matter? Oh, no, 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 nothing's the matter. I, uh, I just forgot the sugar, that's all. Are you all right? Who are you calling? Abe. What for? Because I want him to tell me about this, this person, this Joe. Oh, darling, please. Because maybe, maybe I'm having a nervous breakdown. Well, what, what are you talking about? No, I'm not, I'm not going to even tell you this time. Because maybe I didn't even see it. See what? Because such things are not possible. Oh, why don't they answer? Paula, calm down. He said that she'd be home later. It is later. Well, all right, you do what you want. But uh, I don't know what's got into you. You get up in the middle of a hand. I, I, I just don't know what's with you tonight. Why don't they answer? Hey, this is life, huh? Really, this is the good life. We got good food, good people, good bridge. And at last, one so good time. My nephew has simple wants. And you? Oh, not so complicated either. You're older than he is. Your past is much longer than your future. Well, uh, who knows such things? I could outlive Methuselah. Does it bother you? Not knowing? The thought of dying. Well, it's uh, not something that a person dwells on. You think of it at all? Oh, sure. Uh, who wants more coffee? Not me. I'm already too wired. Joe? No, thank you. Where's Aunt Paula? We gonna play some more? Yeah, she'll be out. Simon? Uh, uh, Joe, are you sure you don't want some coffee? What do you think of when you think of dying? Me? 
You said you think of it. Well, I can't exactly think of it. It's uh, just there waiting. Like a friend? <laughs> or a partner? A partner like that I don't need. Hey, you're kind of morbid, aren't you? How'd we get on this anyway? Rilke said the death was created to make life look beautiful. Rilke, the poet? I don't remember reading that. I thought I knew him. Doesn't sound like him. He said it to a friend. You know, I think Morty's right. I, I don't want to be rude, but uh, let, let, let's talk about something else. Somehow, I thought you'd be different, Simon. You've lived your life with reason, balance, and realism. You're a man who said we see the stars only because of the darkness around them. That the day is bright only because we have the night to compare it to. You never heard me say that. Didn't you? What's going on? Something going on. Uncle Simon, relax. You look ready to freak out. How do you know what I say? Well, Abe must have told him. Take it easy. Abe, sure, sure, I forgot. Oh, sure. Abe must have told you. That's right. Yeah. Boy, first Aunt Paula, and now you. Yeah, really. Let's get it together, folks. Did what I say frighten you? Oh, it didn't frighten me. That's ridiculous. What am I, some old woman making spells against the evil eye and knock wood? Only, uh... Yes, Simon? Well, only, uh... Well, it's, it's just not something that people like to talk about, that's all. You know, I, me, I accept it, understand. I, you know, I, after all, what can I do about it? It's something we've all got to face. But I can understand how, how it makes people feel scared and lonely, how, you know, like they're, they're out there all naked and uh, cold and the wind is blowing and blowing. And, well, I mean, is it, is it something to celebrate, to be so full of life and then... Nothing? Why do you say nothing? In many countries, death is part of every joyous holiday. People enjoy these holidays. They seem vital. They come alive. Even children are aware of it. They buy paper skulls and candy skeletons at every fiesta. Kids, what do they know? They're just whistling past the graveyard. Are you saying it's so impossible to enjoy something if you know there's going to be a change? Well, it... A change is uh, not exactly like leaving a party. What is a change? In the East, they call it Maya, the great illusion. Uh, Paula, come rescue us. We're up to our ears in a dead end. Uh, you should pardon the expression. Yeah, let's finish the hand. Did you reach them? Still no answer. Yeah, well, there's no answer here either. There's always an answer if you face the question. Excuse me. Just what is this question? Death. Life. Your husband accepts the inevitability of death the same way he'd accept a toothache if there were no aspirin around. Stoically. A brave resolve not to let it bother him. With this attitude, how can he have a taste for life? Should we uh, play, please? I'm for that. This is like religion. It's so heavy. That's it. Let's review the bidding, huh? I remember now for sure. He was at my father's funeral. Yeah, you're at Jake's funeral. I remember. Yeah, at the temple, you were sitting in the second row all by yourself. Hey, you got a memory. Once I see a face, I never forget. Sweetheart, Th that was 17 years ago. How could you recognize him from, from 17 years? Well, it wasn't you, was it? Well, it couldn't have been. Well, tell him, was it you? Did you know his father? No. But I was there. I got it. You mean that after 17 years, you still look the same? Well, what is it? Uh, vitamin E? Hello. Oh, Betty? Well, where have you been? That Paul has been trying to reach you. Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, Betty, I can't hear you. Can you speak up? I can't hear. Can you speak up? Oh, my God. No. What can we do? Can we do anything? 
My God, what can I say? Sure, yeah. You'll get in touch with us later. Yeah, Betty, we'll... We'll be here. About Abe? What? What happened? It was an accident. At the Cheshire Club. I stopped in for a drink. But where's Abe? You must have known. Simon, what is it? What happened? Where is he? It's an accident, a bad accident. Well, why didn't you let me talk to her? I want to call Betty. No, no, she's not home. She'll call here later. Where is she? St. Vincent's. Oh, no. Well, it's a good hospital. Simon, you're hiding something. How bad is it? Bad enough. Then they'll, they'll need us. I'll get dressed. Joe, you gotta understand that Betty and Abe are their best friends. I know. Abe's dead. And you knew it. You knew it when you got here. Who are you? I'm your partner. Oh, you're the devil. Oh, Simon. You killed Abe. No. But you were there when he died. Yes. I'm always there. Oh, no. This is crazy. I'm crazy. It's impossible. Look at me, Simon. Oh. Look at me. What do you want with me? Are you afraid of me? Are you kidding? Am I so fearful? Well, not to look at. I, I mean... Then I frighten you as an abstract concept. I'm really talking to him like... like... like he's... like it's a person. Simon, I have a favor to ask. A favor? I don't want you to be afraid of me. Well, if I'm still here, after you leave, ask me then. You'll still be here. Well, then why did you come? I wanted to get to know you. I meet so many people in my line of work, but there's rarely an opportunity for conversation. Oh. Why did you take Abe? Still a young man. There's a limit to what I can tell you. Classified. I'm not an independent agent. I work alone, and it's lonesome. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let, let me get this straight now. You're trying to tell me that, that you're lonely? Well, I was going to say I'm only human. But you wouldn't understand that yet. He's lonely and I'm nuts. If you believe in life, Simon, how can you deny me? If you love life, how can you without accepting me? If you're afraid of me, how can you live life without fear? Joe, no, I mean, uh, I, I, I should call you what? I'd like you to call me Joe. Joe. Uh, sir. Joe. No, Joe. I'm not sure this is happening. I, I don't want you to be offended, but if this is really happening, what am I supposed to do? Then you're no longer afraid? Oh, no, no, I didn't say that. Uh, don't rush me. Look, I, I don't mind being your friend if it doesn't cost too much, if you know what I mean. Will you shake on that? You mean uh, shake hands? Yes. Is that how it's done? Look, I, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I, I, I don't know that I'm, I'm ready for that. Oh. I understand. What's going on? Did, did Betty call back? Uh, no. Simon, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, Mrs. Graveson, I wanted to thank you for your hospitality. You've been extremely kind and gracious. Well, hardly. And I want to apologize. Your bridge game is a shambles. Well, it wasn't your fault. Maybe it'll work out better some other night, huh? Now, that's up to 
Simon. And me. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, good heavens. Did you lose this? Why, it's... It's Mama's engagement ring. And we thought I'd lost it on that trip in Miami. It's, a, it's amazing. We, we, we searched everywhere. I must have gone over this place a hundred times. Well, it's a very heavy stone. A ring like that will usually fall stone down. That's right. He's absolutely right about that. This is amazing. Where was it you found this? Right down here? After all these years, you didn't know where this ring was. Now, this is a freaky accident. I, uh, I just don't know how to thank you. It means a lot to me. I mean, sentimental. It meant a lot to your mother, too. As I said, I, I, I don't know how to thank you. That's unnecessary. And I look forward to our next meeting. Uh, you mean you're leaving? Yes. Well, how about next week? What about it, Simon? Oh, uh, yes, yeah, sure. Uh, come next week, if you're not too busy. Uncle Simon. Well, what do you know? Well, good night. So long, Ace. He's a nice guy. A little weird, but he's okay. You know... Maybe he could be a good friend. Before you wanted to throw him out? Well, he, he has beautiful manners. Sharp eyes. And he was a good partner for you, Simon. Yeah, this is a friend worth cultivating. This is one friend I'm going to pick myself. Hey, look, uh, Mr. Generation Gap, would you mind cleaning up a little bit around here? There's something i got to tell Paul in the other room. Well, sure. No big deal. What is it, Simon, about Abe? No, it's about, it's about Abe and about life. Not even to get excited about it. Nope, I'll be excited. Seven spades. Wow. If I'd have had that hand, I'd have died. Insight is a production of the Paulist Fathers, a group of Catholic priests who serve their God by serving those outside their church.